What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into more craft beer and it's Michigan craft beer. I have not had anything from Transient in a long time guys. So Transient Artisan Ales. Uh, what? Bridgman, Michigan? Yep. So the, I, I, again, I've had a lot of their beers but I haven't had one from them in a long time. So this is M4 Distribution in Michigan. Uh, this is quite expensive though. Like I feel like I've never seen a beer this expensive from Transient in recent memory. It's going to be like 20 bucks a four pack or 21 even. Um, at least at the minimum $19.99 for a four pack of this sucker guys. And what we're working with is time being a DDH double IPA clocking in at 8 percent so not a slouch of a beer by any means and it is freaking hot in northern michigan today uh 80 some degrees humidity is like 80 percent or 75 percent it feels disgusting out here i just brought this out this thing is sweating sweating like a moose in a desert i don't know where i'm going with that but let's get into this uh, no canned on date they never usually put one but this is brand new in distribution so i do not think this is very old guys and I just almost dropped it. Maybe you saw it on the intro. So this just blew up. I'm rolling with it. I'm outside. I don't care. I don't care what's going on right now. Poor Michigan beer. <clears throat> Glassware. Hit me up if you want one. I can get it to you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's go to the pour. So 8%. Pouring more like a Hefeweizen. I don't know what that's pouring like. But it is indeed hazy. And I am pouring it completely horribly. This thing blew up everywhere, so it's dense. It's it's very, it's very thick actually as I pour it, and it looks like a dark orangey color in the sun. Uh, really good lighting you can see over there, but when I come over here, eh, you know, it looks like that car, uh, caramel, copper, orange, whatever you want to say. Big head retention, super foamy, uh, foamy head sitting on top, very creamy and uh, dense. And guys, I'm going to let this dissipate for a second, but she looks the part. I mean, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. And again, <clears throat> Transient usually makes pretty good beer. I feel like they're hit and miss, in all honesty. I, I do like a lot of their things that they make. Sometimes they're okay. So 8% uh, Dippa. Um, we, we have so many of these. You know, it's, I feel like this category is so overdone and overplayed at this point in time in 2024. Um, but I just can't stop reviewing double dry hopped hazies. I don't I don't know guys, I feel like it's like a must when you see one, it's like, yeah, let's review it, let's put it on the channel. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, let's get into this. Aroma. What the blankety blank is that? Smells maltier than a normal New England style beer. Um, smells old school, kind of like caramel, just caramel maltiness to this beer, like almost West Coasty, almost, um, too hardish, you know, like it, it's just like old old school West Coast or like mid American IPA feel to it. I swear, it smells like caramel toffee. Like it, it's it's kind of orangey and there's citrus, but it's like orange marmalade and caramel toffee laying next to each other. Like it, it's very interesting. Like that's a very memorable smell. Um, I, I imagine just by the the aroma here, this has got to be a malty beer. Smells so old school, like just old, old malt bill. Um, I, I don't know where to go with that. It's not like super aromatic, but again, I think just that like caramel malt, like almost smells like an amber and a <laughs> New England style had a baby together. I don't even know what that smells like. It's hard to actually get a nose. I don't know if my nose is deceiving me lately, but guys, it, it smells different than a normal New England style dip up. Um, I don't know. I want to say it's it's orangey too. I don't know. Let's let's get in, guys. Uh, time being, let's let's see if I can guess this for the time being. Cheers. So weird, fruitier and juicier than I had anticipated on the uh, nose uh, the aroma. Wow, pretty juicy. Orange, grapefruit, kiwi floral. Uh, definitely like a little bit of that maltier bill underneath, but it's actually quite fruity and juicy. I mean, it, it's, 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 there's like OJ in the mix. It, it tastes like a, a new age beer. It, it's weird. It's like, it's pretty good actually. Like it, very deceiving on the nose. I didn't know what to expect on the nose in all honesty. 
And the more I like sniff it and taste it, it's like fading away. Like I feel like it was stronger right at first and now I'm just adjusting to it. It's citrus. It's predominantly got a little floral zest to it. Um, I feel like it is somewhat malty underneath, but it's got like this orange juice kind of marmalade thing laying over the top. And there's, there's something like acidic and bright underneath. I don't know if it's like kiwis. I don't know if it's like strawberry or like some sort of like berry thing. But it's actually pretty good. Like 8% going down relatively easily. Uh, not a heavy beer, comparatively speaking, to its category. Like I feel like there's a lot of other 8% dippas that weigh you down. This one comes across a little bit more light and fluffy and soft on the palate. Some just beautiful notes of grapefruit too. Like it's it's really nice. Like that's that's the best way I can describe this beer. It's very nice and it was deceiving off the jump. Yeah, I mean it's it's actually like a touch sweet. I want a little bit more bitterness. I want a little bit more refinement on the back end. Um, but that's me just as an IPA guy. I, you know, I'd like a little bit more uh, grassy bitterness, a little bit more uh, pine cone on the back. But it, again, this is a nice and juicy 8% dip. I like hanging on really well. Um, and it's just, it's pretty smooth while being a little bit acidic. There's a little bit of like honey, hoppy pine, touch of grass. And again, this floral thing's not bad in there. It's actually just well adjusted to the rest of the fruity brightness. Um, I like this beer. Like. I could I could forget about it. I mean, in all honesty, like in 2024 terms, I could I could forget about it. But it's really good. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's slightly chewy, um, very uh, very bright and citrusy, and a little bit of like soft maltiness underneath everything. Maybe I don't know where I was getting this like caramel orange juice thing. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. But again, there's like acidic. Like I don't know if it's like kiwi, pineapple, berry. There's like a, a weird addition to the citrus in here uh, almost hard to explain and some nice juicy grapefruit really i mean just really beautiful notes of juicy grapefruit popping up um i like this beer i like it like i just like it i, I don't love it i like it i wish there's a little bit more hoppy refinement on the back end that bitterness a little bit more <sighs> subtle herbaceousness or, or another complexity to end it but that's just me talking and rambling on in 2024 and we've had how many beers at this point in time it's ridiculous uh, but i do appreciate this beer i think it's good I'm, you know 20 dollars is a stretch for this i i don't know is there wheat and honey in this it has like that subtle touch I, i'm sure it's not cheap to make but it's hard to justify in 2024 a 20 dollar four pack it just is getting harder to justify but nothing's cheap anymore so it's good like there's like orange juice in here too and like orange marmalade i i like this beer i like it <laughs> i want to love it but i just i just really like it again touch more bitterness would be fire be fire a little bit more refinement on the back end uh, it, it's a good beer it's a really good beer i can't i can't complain about it too much more a little bit more acidity on the back end there's oj in the mix no doubt I don't know. 4.09 out of 5. Maybe a little drier, a little bit more hoppy qualities on the back end, and it's it gets a better rating. I back in the day, this is freaking mind blowing. You know, I feel bad the way I rate beers nowadays. Is it fair? I think so because uh, everything gets better over time. Competition gets better and stiffer. Um, so yeah, 4.09 out of 5. It, it's it's really good. It's really good. But again, that price point's tough. It's tough. So guys, it's been. The time being, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, prost, cheers, yamas, poor Michigan beer.